hello people this is pradeep vibhuti we shall see a topic on piece wise linear model of the diode this is for the subject electronic circuits which is there for the third semester of uh, engineering so what is piece wise linear model of diode before looking into that we'll have to see what is piece wise model for a sine wave waveform so most of the circuits input is a sinusoidal waveform only okay we are dividing it into pieces so you can see the curve nature is made as okay straight line with blue line correct and we are dividing into pieces so this is our vm sin omega t you can make it either linearly varying okay or you can make it a constant value for certain duration okay more the pieces that is more number of linear segments then more will be the approximation close to the actual waveform yes smaller the segments will be closer to the actual waveform so this is what is piece wise linear model of all about so this is for your sinusoidal input but this is the characteristics of diode now we'll apply this this technique to your diode so diode has this characteristics and diode forward characteristics is this okay and reverse characteristics is this so what is the slope of this slope of this is y axis by x axis what is y axis here i correct x axis is v so i by v is nothing but inverse of resistance v by i is resistance i by v is inverse of resistance so it is forward resistance similarly in reverse it is again i by v that is slope is uh, y axis by x axis y axis is i x axis is v so it is uh, i by v i by v is nothing but inverse of resistance so since it is in reverse okay reverse means you have applied the voltage reversed to the diode that is instead of applying vak you have applied vka so this is the characteristic uh, it would not be a linear okay it would be some dots like this so dot should be here and there so you have made it linear now this is the diode means on means conducting off means non conducting okay so this is the diode symbol and if this is on so anode is this cathode is this if this is on this is the model means when this is on there is a small voltage drop we call it as v gamma and there is a small forward resistance offered by the diode to the current and this is a reverse resistance that is when the diode is off when you apply a reverse okay the diode current is almost zero okay when you have not applied any voltage then it means it is an open circuit open circuit means it will offer a large resistance see you can see here the current y axis is small okay but x axis is more that is when the diode is off okay this is the model now let us now use this model in the analysis of simple diode circuit with sinusoidal input okay we have input and the output is seen here so we'll have to understand what will happen to the diode so when the diode is on this is the model right correct so it is replaced this is replaced with the diode and when it is off it is totally open circuit open circuit means it is almost large now we will have to derive some equations for this okay because when it is on there is some current so for so for that to find the current we always apply kirchhoff's voltage law so starting from this point okay source ground it's vi minus v gamma correct u entering negative is positive u entering positive is negative this is the conventional your current direction is entering negative so positive your current direction is entering positive therefore negative that is voltage is drop 
माइनस आई आर एफ करेक्ट वोल्टेज वी आर राइटिंग वोल्टेज लॉ किस ऑफ वोल्टेज लॉ माइनस आई इन टू आर एल इक्वेटेड टू जीरो दिस इज वॉट इज द के वी एल फॉर दिस सर्क्यूट ओके नाउ इफ यू टेक आई कॉमन वी आई माइनस वी गामा डिवाइडेड बाय ओके आर एफ प्लस आर एल करेक्ट वी हैव टेकन दिस नेगेटिव टर्म्स दैट साइड सो आई देर ओनली आई टेकन कॉमन आर एफ प्लस आर एल विल कम टू द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड कम्स इन द डिनोमिनेटर सो सिंपल सब्सटीट्यूशन एंड इट कैन ऑल्सो बी रिटर्न एज आई इज इक्वल वॉट इज वी आई वी एम साइन थीटा माइनस वी गामा होल डिवाइडेड बाई आर एफ प्लस आर सो दिस इज द ओके equation which we need to remember which we use it calculating the i okay for this kind of circuit now we'll have to keep in mind that during the positive half cycle of the input sinusoidal the diode begins to conduct only when sinusoidal voltage exceeds this okay v gamma so when vm sin theta is greater than v gamma that is input is greater than v gamma then only it starts conducts if it is if vi is less than v gamma okay this is some small voltage right for silicon it is 0.6 for germanium it is 0.2 okay you should know this when this is less than 0.6 it would be current would be zero when this is more than when input is more than 0.6 then it starts conducting we get current which is evident here in this graph so this is the voltage graph correct this is the supply and this is the current obviously because of some resistance its value will be less and current will come only after it reaches v gamma once it reaches v gamma and becomes greater than that that is input supply then current starts to come so that value we call it as phi so after it will have some delay okay so we need to calculate this delay also that is phi for different circuits phi will be different for different input voltage phi will be different correct yes so we will have to understand that and we have equations for that so vm sin phi is equal to v gamma v gamma is what vm sin phi correct no v gamma is vm sin phi okay we have given some other angle that's it it is again same as the input voltage only but the value is for v gamma it is not vi vi is changing but v gamma is a fixed for a particular device so sin phi okay taking vm to the other side it becomes v gamma by vm so phi is equal to sin inverse of v gamma by vm so this is also an important equation okay we need to remember so there are two important equations one is this equation and phi is equal to this equation so once we know these two equations and of course uh, phi is equal to 0 for if it is very very less okay almost to 0 if v, v phi is very less so you can see intersection happens here and if it is 90 degree when it will be 90 degree when both are same okay so when both are same it meets here now we'll solve a problem a uh, diode shown in the circuit is silicon diode it means it is 0.6 that is v gamma is 0.6 volt calculate the cut in angle so this is the angle what we need to calculate so how do we solve it okay equations we have we simply substitute so what we know in to solve the first sub question when input is this and the second sub question when input is vi is equal to 10 sin theta so for vi is equal to 1.2 sin theta vm is 1.2 because we need vm here correct in this formula so we'll write down what all we have v gamma is also given 0.6 volts and we know that this is the equation so these are the only two equations we are using v gamma by vm so this is nothing but sin inverse of 0.6 by 1.2 which will give us the answer sin inverse of 
uh, 0.5 which is 30 degree okay so the second sub question it means uh, this is 30 degree right so after 30 degree so this is 90 degree after 30 degree it is getting on current is coming now for another input now input is changed it is peak is not 1.2 now peak is increased so if peak is increased what will be the angle we'll see so again sign inverse of okay now this is 0.6 now it is 10 instead of 1.2 it is 10 so it becomes sign inverse of 0 0.06 correct which is nothing but 3.44 degree so we have found the angle for both now we'll see one more problem okay where uh, the input to the circuit shown here is vi is equal to 10 sin theta vm is 10 here okay it is given for the diode v gamma is equal to 0 0.2 then reverse that is forward resistance and reverse resistance are given find the peak so once resistances are given you know that you have this formula to be used correct you know vm you know v gamma we have to find current find the peak circuit current and the cutting angle if rl is 300 if load is 300 what will be the peak current so peak current is means what when theta equal to 90 degree then only peak current will come no see current is peak when when theta equal to 90 degree correct so this is theta see here this x axis is theta fine so it is varying with respect to theta we shall solve it so what is the formula we have y is equal to vm sin theta minus v gamma whole divided by rf plus rl now we want peak current right so it is maximum when it is 90 degrees so sin 90 vm sin theta and sin 90 is 1 so we have vm minus v gamma whole divided by rf plus rl so we know everything 10 minus 0 0.2 divided by rf is also 100 plus rl is 300 which is 0 0.8 by 400 which is 24.5 milliampere and cutting angle how will you find sin inverse of v gamma by vm which we know sin inverse of what is v gamma 0 0.2 by 10 vm is 10 so it is nothing but sin inverse of 0 0.02 which is nothing but 1.145 this is the angle degree so that's it uh, with these two formulas okay you should try to understand the problem here rf is given reverse resistance is also given forward resistance forward resistance is when diode is conducting it will have offer some small resistance which is small compared to the off state off state means open circuit open circuit means its resistance is almost infinity okay now we shall move to the topic called clippers